my beautiful friends and welcome back to cheap lazy vegan today i'm going to be showing you guys the easiest pasta recipe ever because we are only using five ingredients to create this pasta dish yes you heard me correctly only five ingredients to create this delicious flavorful satisfying and creamy butternut squash pasta i hope you guys are hungry because you're gonna want to eat all of it not only is this super easy, it is delicious, it is also very healthy, and you can make it gluten-free if you use gluten-free pasta, and of course it is oil-free as well, so I hope you guys are excited. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video once again. If you need an easy way to build a beautiful website, go to squarespace.com slash cheaplazyvegan and you can get yourself a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. I actually made my very new website for my new cafe through Squarespace, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that down below. It was super easy to use and I think it looks pretty good considering I have very little skill when it comes to website building, but more on this at the end of the video let's get on with the recipe first thing we're going to do is cook the pasta of your choice and while your pasta is cooking we are going to prepare the sauce so we're going to use cashews of course because cashews make your sauce creamy and delicious and if you did not soak your cashews overnight do not fret because all you have to do is just boil the cashews for about 15 to 20 minutes and it will soften them so we're making butternut squash pasta, so we're obviously going to need some butternut squash. So I'm just taking some frozen butternut squash, adding a splash of water, and I just microwaved it for about a minute to basically, I don't know, unfreeze it, if you will. And then I'm just going to add the butternut squash into a food processor, and I'm also adding some garlic powder as well as some vegetable broth powder. You can use a vegetable bouillon cube, maybe half of a bouillon cube. Um, that word is so weird to me, bouillon bouillon anyway and then we're going to add the cashews in once they've softened and then we are going to blend it now the secret i find to a very nice creamy sauce especially when you're using cashews is to just blend it for a long period of time so i blended it for like probably over a minute so just keep blending okay hopefully your blender or food processor works very well if you're interested in the one that i'm using i will leave a link to that down below and if you need a little help in the blending department, you can add a splash of water or non-dairy milk, totally optional, but it will help the blending process. And then you just toss it with your favorite pasta, and there is your five ingredient pasta dish. I'm just having it with a side of pan fried tofu with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. But yeah, this was actually so delicious. It was so much better than I expected from such a simple sauce. I added a little bit of dry basil on top for some decoration and that's pretty much it guys so that's five ingredients we have pasta we have butternut squash we've got cashews we have e what else did i put in there garlic powder and vegetable broth powder five ingredient pasta and it is so good so i really hope you guys try this one out as you can see it is super easy and simple but it is also very yummy and addictive it might just become a staple in your household who knows anyways as i mentioned in the beginning of this video if you are looking for a quick and simple way to build a beautiful website check out squarespace.com cheap lazy vegan for a free trial and 10 percent off your first purchase i built my new website for my new cafe super easily and um, I think it looks pretty good considering I don't know what I'm doing. So you can check out the website savagecafe.ca to see how it looks. Um, I actually really love the way it looks and how simple and easy it was to make. So if you like the way it looks and if you want to make your own website, again, squarespace.com slash cheap lazy vegan. And all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!